Hi, we have finally completed our test rig. We've had a lot of requests to compare our heat pumps to a standard hot water cylinder. Uh, yeah, we've got two different types of heat pump systems. We've got our Stevel Ultron heat pump on the side. We promote the integral units for the residential market. This unit consists of a 300 litre vessel with our heat pump built in on the top. This is our whole system over here. Then you get another type of system that looks like an air conditioner that circulates water to the cylinder and back. This is also a heat pump system. We've got these systems, but not underneath 8 kilowatt. And the reason I'm covering this up is because it's not our system. I'm not allowed to show this. But anyway, it is one of the most popular systems that you can buy on the South African market at the moment. I'd say it's in one of the top three. And then we've got our conventional hot water cylinder with our electric element in the back there. What are we going to do? Every day, we're going to take 150 liters out of each system. We're going to, we've, I've marked off on this bucket over here, I've marked off the 150 liter position. We're going to drain 150 liters, and then we're going to empty out the bucket, move on to the next system, drain another 150 liters, then finally move on to the last system. Now, this procedure of draining the water, we're going to do once in the morning, and we're going to do once in the evening. This will simulate the work life of an average South African that goes to, or that showers in the morning before he goes to work, and then showers again in the evening when he gets back from work. So this is a very real life simulation. It's gonna give you a very accurate uh, identification or accurate indication as to what you would save or what you would actually use if you had to install one of these heat pumps. Now, to measure the different units, we've got normal kilowatt hour meters in the back there. And I like these meters because they measure the current and the voltage, which gives you an energy reading. And this is very nice because it's exactly the same energy meter that you would use on your house to get your normal electricity bill. It's the same one that the municipality uses. These three energy read, uh, meters that I'm using over here are brand new. They've still got the seal on the top and recently purchased. Now, on top of the accurate energy reading, we've actually taken the same municipal water, connected it to the three different systems. Now, that means we're going to have the same temperature cold water going into all three. The water coming out, I've actually regulated and I'm going to check it every single day. We've set it to 60 degrees and we're going to make sure that the water going in and coming out is exactly the same for all three systems. Now, this is a very nice situation because at the same time we're going to have the same ambient conditions. So the heat loss on these two different systems is going to be exactly the same. They're going to have the same temperature inside, same outside temperature. So the heat going from the inside to the outside should be exactly the same. It's not going to be fair for Steve Outron because we've got a 300 litre vessel where over there we've only got 250 litres. So the heat loss on this system is actually more than those two tanks. But, you know, it is going to disadvantage this machine, but still, even though it disadvantages it, it's going to give you an idea of efficiency between the different systems. This machine still outperforms even though we have a bigger cylinder on top of this. All right. Um, I'm looking forward to the results. I hope you like it. If you've got any comments, please go to the bottom of our page. There's a comment section. Leave a remark or two. If you're a heat pump supplier or if you're an engineer or if you've got any questions about the installation or how we conduct the procedure, please, any feedback is welcome, good or bad. Um, I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you very much.